Hello and welcome to another video here on Neosource. I am really busy for the months of August and September so I will try to manage at least to do a video once in a while. As you guys voted for this video, let's have a look at what Neo's second quarter results could be looking like. As a reminder, I did set up a delivery sheet of NEO vehicles some time ago and I recently updated the sheet by adding all the quarterly earning results. The link is down below in the description. So what are my expectations for NEO's second quarter and what could the numbers look like? Actually my expectations are undecided. Why undecided? Let me explain you why. The main reason was the COVID situation in China that really draw down deliveries in April and May. NEO delivered only 25,059 vehicles compared to 25,768 in Q1 2022. So for the first time in two years NEO had a quarter over quarter decrease in deliveries because of the COVID lockdowns in China. In Q1 2022 margins have been as low as the lowest in 2021. From Q4 2021 to Q1 2022, the vehicle margin went down to 18.1% from a previous 20.9%. NEO said that the lower vehicle margin in Q1 was mainly driven by the lower average selling price due to changes in their product mix. Gross margin went down to only 14.6% from a previous 17.2%. NEO explained that the decrease of gross margin over the first quarter of 2021 was attributed to the decrease of vehicle margin and the reduction in other sales margin resulting from the expanded investment in the power and service network. So margins went down in Q1 because of a lower average selling price and now in Q2, additionally deliveries are lower than in Q1. So should revenues then be lower in Q2 2022? Well that's where I'm undecided. The main difference in Q2 is that NEO actually sold 6,749 ET7s which have a higher average selling price compared to the ES6 or EC6. On the other hand NEO sold 660 ES8 less than in Q1 2022. Still the additional ET7 sales outweigh the lower ES8 sales by far. So logically, considering there is no other influence that drives down the vehicle margin, NEO should have a higher vehicle margin in Q2 compared to Q1 2022. Also unless NEO didn't further expand their investment in the power and service network, the gross margin should also come in slightly higher compared to Q1 2022. The question that stays is if NEO will have lower, higher or the same vehicle and total revenues in Q2? If the margins stay the same and you take the lower deliveries, NEO could have a sales revenue of around 1.417 billion US dollars for Q2 representing a decrease of 2.9% from Q1. With the same side revenues of 105.1 million US dollars, this would lead to a potential total revenue of 1.522 billion US dollars representing a decrease of 2.7% quarter over quarter. Though this is only simple calculations, it only had a maximum deviation of under 3% for now. In my opinion accurate enough for the minimum time it takes to calculate it. So now the case for the higher margins. Remember I take into account that the only reasons pulling margins down were the reasons Neo mentioned. So let's get into the calculations. I took all the starting prices of the models and multiplied them with the delivery numbers of the very quarter. With this I came up with a vehicle sales revenue for Q1 2022 of 1.441 billion US dollars for Q1 2022 which is 1.2% lower than the actual Q1 sales revenue. This is just logic because those are the starting prices and usually the average sales price of a vehicle will be higher because of car options available. With the same calculation, now for Q2 2022, I got to a sales revenue of 1.484 billion US dollars. To simulate the average sales price, I will also add 1.2% on top of it. Remember the 1.2% represent the deviation of my calculation between the starting prices and the actual average price of Q1 2022. So for this case now, the potential total sales revenues would be at 1.502 billion US dollars. With the same other revenues like in Q1, 
This would lead to a total revenue of around 1.606 billion US dollars. This would be huge as it would break the 1.6 billion US dollars mark for the first time and this with lower overall deliveries. Keep in mind this is only an assumption of mine and it does not reflect the real numbers. If the margins will be lower then there have been other influences that I did not take into account. I only stick to what NEO told us about margins in the last quarter. I am curiously looking forward for the second quarter results to see what case will be the most accurate and to see exactly what impact the higher ET7 sales will have on revenue overall. I hope that you could relate to my thought of calculation, if so or if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Feel free to subscribe to the channel to stay updated about NEO. As always guys, I wish you a nice day.